Congressman Tim Burchett of Tennessee with us now. Good to see you, sir. I guess this is the question. What is full stupid? Banning gas stoves or holding congressional hearings about banning gas stoves? Well, banning gas stoves. You know, it's amazing to me that we're supposed to be doing the people's work and the people are upset about this stuff, as they should be. This administration basically just trying to it get us all out in the one little cookie cutter kind of thing and um, banning energy that we can get here domestically. And, um, you know, it's just another day in paradise here in Washington, D.C. They didn't even have the nerve to show up. I, I hope Republicans, though, remember this when we start talking about funding these these alphabet departments. We need to mm -hmm. seriously talk about cutting their money because their agenda is not the American agenda. It's decreasing. It, it's increasing our dependency on foreign energy supplies. It's cutting off our own supplies here in this country. And it's Frankly, it's hurting working people. The rich people aren't going to be hurt. The rich elitists, no. they don't care. They're not going to be hurt. No, it's, it's, it's always the poor and the middle class who take this stuff on the chin. We're, we're seeing that when it comes to the price of cars, for example, because of uh, yep. green energy requirements. This is what I can't figure out, and I, and I ask this, this question genuinely. We've got big issues in America. We have the debt ceiling. America might default uh, for the first time in history. Our credit limit now, uh, our credit ratings may go down. Um, you're talking about huge interest rate spikes that are going to also, again, hurt uh, the poorest of Americans. We got China breathing down our neck in so many ways, the possibility of a war over Taiwan. Uh, you've got Ukraine. I, you've got the border. We keep going on. Why is something like a gas stove so emblematic of the way people feel in America? I think it's because it, it, it takes away their freedom to choose these things. They, uh, this administration's saying one thing, but but doing exact up, opposite. You know, these they think we're all gonna have solar panels and, and windmills. The sun doesn't always shine. The batteries, the technology's not there. We know that. The wind doesn't always blow, but you can always get this fuel out of the ground. And um, it's costing Americans jobs when they cut these things out. Um, only thing I can figure is maybe Hunter Biden is heavily invested in uh, electric stoves. That's about the only angle I can figure. <laughs> I have no idea. I, look, to be to be fair, um, any Democrat actually we've had Democrats come on and, and defend the gas stoves. They're always they're always welcome. Uh, Cory Bush, uh, representative from my home state of Missouri, said, "Well, I know you were. Yeah, I know you were there, but we have to play it for the audience." Here you go. Go ahead. <laughs> Seatbelts work, too, because there are standards put in place to keep people safe. This is a standard. This is a uh, we're talking about keeping people safe. Your response. Now, she was talking about uh, uh, house pollution and other things. I, she needs to follow the science. And clearly, Miss Bush is not following the science. And she is uh, she is speaking incorrectly. And I'll just leave it at that. I don't know what the people right. in Missouri are thinking, but that gum, the people in Tennessee, we like our gas stoves. Yeah, no, I, I, I'm from Missouri. I like gas stoves, too, but that's just me. Uh, Congressman, it's good to see you, sir. Thank you very much. Next time we're going to have you uh, in the studio, all right? I would appreciate that. I, I look much yeah. better when I'm live in studio. Yeah, the, the, just look at what the lights do to me. It's incredible. Uh, we'll see you soon, sir. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven unbiased coverage.